Warning, the Loud Spot podcast uses adult humor and adult language in its broadcast. It may be unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, we are idiots. Please don't take anything. We say offensive or the heart. What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian, hanging out with my producer, Sam. And I do want to remind everyone in the beginning of the episode to please subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you find your podcast. We're on Apple Music. Uh, we're Apple Podcast. Yeah, Apple Podcast, and then YouPorn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> only fans. We're on Chatterbait.com. Chatterbait.com. So. Don't forget, everyone, we are officially sponsored by dubby they are an energy drink but also do hydration drinks which i like because i do like to drink and wake up in the morning get yourself one of those dubbies you can go to w.gg and use the promo code the loud spot for 10 percent off and they taste really good yes i like i'm waiting i'm waiting for my my uh, caffeine so (laughs) staying on, on the on the topic of food and drinks chicago Apparently, Chicago does not like ketchup. I think they're big on no. their hot dogs. And I, Sam, is this something they like? Mustard. Know? They like mustard and their sauerkraut. Well, uh, well, I guess Heinz uh, in 2017 came out with a, a hot dog sauce that mm. wanted just being ketchup. <laughs> it was just it was a way to oh, really? dupe, it was a way to dupe everyone into thinking that it wasn't ketchup, but it was ketchup. And so what they're doing because Chicago is so against ketchup is they're putting these little billboards. Uh, mm. I guess they're like ketchup dispensing billboards. Right. And they're putting it in front of restaurants that don't use ketchup or don't serve ketchup. So my only question is, is like, what happens if it like gets record heat? And we all know ketchup is just basically tomato and tons of salt in it, right? It's just tomato paste and tons of salt. So could it really go bad? Absolutely not. But I just can't think of the warmest ketchup and 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 Chicago's getting getting some good humidity during the summertime. So could you imagine putting a hot uh, a hot uh, condiment on your hot hot dog or or oh, it's hot. No, No, that's not even that. Okay, I don't think it'd be that bad. It's I think no it worse, would, it's, it's no worse than putting the stupid hot guacamole on your breakfast burrito from Brahms. Yes. That was disgusting. Yes, thanks Brahms because I try to you know, eat healthy and then order something for Sebastian and you guys mess it up with hot guacamole. Every time Sam orders something for me, every, time. every single time I'm like, why? I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> He's like, no. You ordered some weird burger with pineapple on it. Yeah. A, teri- a, a teriyaki, a Hawaiian pineapple, a Hawaiian Gross. burger or something like that. Gross, yeah. dude. Gross. Yeah. It was nasty. But when you ever go to Brahms, just get the normal things. Like just get like a regular I I try, I Good try, shit. but I'm also one of the ones that I like to try new things. So, yeah. I, you know, just because I live in various places and when I was truck driving, I'm in various places. I never know what I might like if I don't try it. So, but yes, I, I, I admit uh, hot guacamole, uh, hot avocado in general, not a fan and neither not is good. Sebastian. Nope. Sebastian's already a bitch when it comes to a lot of things. So <laughs> we have to watch out for him. He'd be I, like, you put ice in my, my water. What's wrong with you? You know, so dude, I am, so, I, you know, for not being a picky eater, I'm a prima donna when it comes you, to food. I'm telling you, you are, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that you even, you even eat anything outside of French fries and ketchup. My friend made eggs the other day and was like, you want some? I said, you mean those eggs that expired a month ago? No, thank you. Oh. I don't yeah, want to eat. I don't want. It smells fine, but I'm not gonna eat it. But going back to ketchup, the worst thing right. I could think of is littering the streets with ketchup packets and squirting them on the floor, like people stepping on them and ketchup getting all over the concrete. Right, right. So, are you saying it's better that they're doing a uh, some kind of dispensing unit versus a whole bunch of individual packets in Chicago? I think the whole thing's a horrible idea. Oh, I, think I think so. Too. I think it's a clever idea. I think it, in theory, it sounds fun. It's like a gimmick, right? It's a gimmick that right. they're doing, right? But at, but at the end of the day, dude, all it is going to do is people are going to litter ketchup packets all over Chicago. No one's going to eat them because they've been stepped on. I mean, some people might use them. 
I, 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 I could tell you that I, I probably would. First of all, I'm not a big ketchup eater. Like, there's only certain things I like ketchup on, and it's a weird thing. Why Same thing say, with mustard. Why do you say ketchup weird? Ketchup. You say ketchup. 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 Ke- there you go. <laughs> ketchup. <laughs> there you go. Ketchup. If there's a ch in it, sir. So well, not, not, not always. Not always. Some of it's spelled catsup. Well, I think, but that's English for you. That's uh, American English on top of that. So, so back to to the uh, red stuff that comes in in tomato paste with a lot of salt in it, because apparently I can't say ketchup right. Um, I don't know if I would would want a sign, a billboard sign that's right next to the place to have ketchup for me to dispense on whatever condiment I was or. Or whatever food choice I was eating, um, I could see it maybe being at R- Wrigley Field. That would be cool, right? That's a good idea. I um, and and then what if you're a business? It's like, hey, we don't need ketchup anymore. Heinz is a dumbass, and they're gonna put ketchup over there. We just got to send them outside to the left or well, something not, like. Now that. you don't even got to buy the ketchup from your yeah. uh, distribution company, wherever you buy your food from. That's right, and that probably save them thousands of dollars. So, <laughs> Heinz, it might be a good idea to uh, rethink this because you're going to spend a lot of money, and then uh, restaurants are going to benefit it from it a hundred percent. But maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. They want them to use ketchup. Like I, I knew a place if you put ketchup on your hot dog, uh, they would they would charge you double. So. Maybe that's what? one of those things. And yeah. Why are they so against ketchup on hot dogs? I don't know. I don't know because I like ketchup and mustard on corn dogs. That's my biggest thing. Like I, I like, like those mustard. Pieces. I like mustard by itself on corn dogs. But I, but oh, but, okay. if the, if, but if someone serves it with ketchup, I'll gladly dip it in the ketchup. Right. Right. I'm not gonna I be like, rude and not eat it. I, that's fine. I'll eat it. I like ketchup and mayonnaise uh, mixed together with French fries. That's you know, like well, if you get ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard with a little bit of relish, that's Thousand Island dressing. That's right. That's right. So, you know that? uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why people are getting all crazy over it, but you know, Chicago, uh, good luck to you. We'll see how that is. And Heinz fifty seven, um, good luck to you, and we'll see how much you spend. So, and last, last thing on the subject, if you go to smackforheinz it actually just takes to a Heinz regular website. But what I've read was, eventually, it's going to go to a website where you can actually. Um, you can nominate restaurants that don't have ketchup in their mm-hmm. establishment for Call a Heinz out. billboard to be there. So I, I really oh. think it's going to be a small, short gimmick they're doing. It's great advertising, as you would always right. say, send it to PR. Yep. PR, baby. 100%. PR. And it, yeah, I mean, you're gonna the, Heinz is going to spend a little bit in product, and then the the uh, companies are going to spend a little bit in advertising as far as like, hey, uh, go next, you know, go outside to the left uh, to the billboard sign and squirt yourself some ketchup if you want it. So, I mean, er- win win. Let's go to our first song uh, since we are a music podcast, but we do like to talk about food. Also, we like to talk about everything. Before we do yeah. that, I do want to remind everyone that later on this episode, we should have uh, Drowning Pool joining yep. us, which would be a- an awesome interview. So hopefully stick around. Watch them and here. What's the first song? It is Kingdom Collapse, and the song is called Half Alive. That's right, right here on the loud spot. Heart slow beating, shallow breathing. I'm hanging on for you to forget. Vision fading with waiting the clarity is all I have left when I let you in you got underneath my skin was it all pretend the beginning of the end
We need to get Kenny Collapse back on the back on the podcast. Well, I can't, I can't hear you because you're muted. God damn it, dude! You gotta stop that. Like well, well, you're three kidding. years in running, you're three old. years in running. That's all he does, folks. Like we don't even need to say anything. Just give me one fucking second to click the goddamn button, and I will happily <laughs> come off of there. That's why I was like, okay, shit. Hold on, click, click, click. I'm gonna say, we're gonna change the name of the podcast to unmute. Unmute Sam. Unmute Sam. Unmute uh, Sam's uh, mic. Sam, uh, Sam the muted or something you, like that. You like. do a whole podcast and you just can't hear anything because you're just muted the whole time. That's right. That's right. Hey, so That's I I, I saw the little TikTok that you sent me. Um, I think you should really uh, tell me about this little TikTok. Um, he sent folks. S- Sebastian will uh, gladly send you stuff, um, whether you like it or not. Some of it inappropriate. Um, and this was one of those ones where I was 50 50 on there and oh, I didn't, oh, so we're, we're going to go over this before we go over. Yeah, I have to, I have to watch okay. this one first because okay. it was, okay. Okay. so I was able to take a look at it at first. I was sad. I was embarrassed. I was like, Sebastian, we can't, we just can't on okay. top of that. But then I was like, you know what? It's actually pretty funny. So okay. well, we're going to let you guys decide. let's set the pre- let's let people know what it is first. There's an old. Probably senile guy in a nurse, in a nurse. In a nursing yeah. home. Okay, obviously not all there. So in a sense, it's not really disgusting because he's just kind of like he's probably out of it on some meds. I think the lady's mm-hmm. going to change his to change, change his, his clothes, change his diaper, diaper, something like that. Yeah. And instead of changing his, she goes up to talk to him, and here's what you. This is about a one minute clip here, and it's hilarious. All right, stick with us on this one. You're gonna like it. Let's go. My dick. Do what? Suck my dick. I, I, can't, I can do that. I can change you. No, you ain't gonna change me. I like you don't want to be changed? No, but I want to be. You know, I think everyone's had that face every once in a while when we've asked our <laughs> significant other to uh, to uh, perform fellatio on us, and they said no. <laughs> we've all had that, that look. Oh my dick would be so. You wanna take your medicine? Huh? Your medicine? Medicine? No. You don't wanna suck my dick. I have to change you. You don't wanna suck my dick. Get out of here. Do you want coffee? No. I want my dick suck. I can't do that. I mean, think about it. Coffee or perform fellatio. Okay, I mean, fellatio. I'm with better. that guy. I'm yeah, guy. I'm with that guy. No. You know it's inappropriate? Yeah. So why are you saying it? I just wondered if you wanted to do it. <laughs> I mean, he can't he, he can't knock him for a try. I guess I'm just wondering if you wanted to do it. Just wanted to do it. I want to do it to you. I want to help you. That's what I'm here for. No, that's that would be a help. What? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Any man at any age doesn't matter. Dude, this guy has to be like what? I don't know. He might be in his 80s. I'm gonna say 70s. In the 80s. I'm gonna say in the 80s, but we don't know. He could be he could be a hundred. We don't yeah, know. The, you think he do you think he go ahead, go ahead, play play the rest of it here. Dick. Mm. Yeah, it would be. It's nasty. No, it's not nasty. You know better than that. All right, folks. Now this is when it gets cute. This is when you see the player come out in this guy. This is when you you understand everything that every man in America probably has done or probably has tried to pull, pull over on every significant other in this world. So here we go. 
don't you? What did he say? He said, okay, so the, he put, he's like, uh, suck my dick. And she goes, that's nasty. He goes, is it? No, no he goes, no, it's not. You know better no, than that. Not. You know better than that. That's right. Which is, I mean, women are doing it for free. He's just saying. He's just saying. Do, do you think that he's always been like this? Like, even before oh, we see him, yes. do you think, like, his younger self just came out and his older self, and he's probably exactly. always been like that? Exactly. And then you start to look at his eyes, and you see that he knows what he's doing. He knows yeah, he exactly does. what he's doing. He does, he does, he's, like, he's like, yeah, I'm not taking my medicine today. I'm going to try to get my dick sucked. Yep, that's it. Here we go. Oh, wait, what? Was that it? I think that was yeah, it, yeah. Be. It's nasty. No, it's not nasty. You know better than that. There's that. Don't you? <laughs> so that's, I guess that is it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But the thing is, so when Sebastian said this to me, I'm like, oh. This is so inappropriate for the the podcast. This is the last Bob, bro. We got to go back to our roots. What, what penis jokes again? Is yeah, that what penis it is? Jokes all over again. That's what we're doing. We're going back. But to at penis. the end of it, I was like, oh shit! I could see the cuteness in this guy. And 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 if you ever been in nursing homes, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. But this felt like like you saw him reconnect with who he is. You saw his soul. You exactly, which is you saw AKA through his eyes. He was dead serious about. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna play it off like I'm still senile, but I'm with it today. Let me exactly. see my head lucky. That's it. I can't even get it hard anymore. That's right. And I'm gonna say it's all about the game is all about the numbers, right? If he says yeah. a hundred to a hundred times to nurses, eventually one of them gonna say yes. Who's to say a different nurse hasn't done it? You know? Who's to say that that's right? Uh, we don't know. And to nurses out there, thank you. Suck his dick. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, wrong sign. Wrong sign. Dude, I didn't even know. That's one thing I love about this podcast. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love when I don't know bands are still doing new music. I got my buddy Mike in town mm -hmm. over here. He's sitting over here. And we were sitting there talking about different bands. He's like, oh, damn. I didn't even realize that they're still doing music. I'm like, because of radio and there's no MTV anymore. So right. you really got to, we stay in touch with it because that's our job as podcasters. Man, I, I would say half, half, you know what I mean? Half, well, okay. I, I personally look for stuff to talk about and new music, but also I, I started listening to new music again when we started the podcast. Right. Because I had okay. to. But before that, I was still stuck in like like the earlier 2000s. Like Mike was sitting here reminiscing about, you know, the old days. And I'm like, dude, he's never heard of Falling Reverse. He's what? never heard of Bad Omens. He loves what? Bad Omens now. Yeah, because he's out of the music scene. He was a great guitar player and vocalist back in the day. But now he's just like, we all go through that. We grow up. And not everyone follows the new music trends anymore. Hmm. But I love that we do. I love it. I'm happy I that I'm not stuck in 2005. Well, I you you still are stuck in 2005, but you're willing to accept the new music. So yeah, yeah, like, I still love the 2005 music. That's why yeah, I grew up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll listen to Mest and and uh, Rancid and and, yeah. and all the your other pop, punk bands, H2O. Stuff well, I'll like also that. listen to Transient. I'll listen to some right Hardy. Then. Which, by the way, we both have Transient hats on today. I have the original black, the one I made for them, the one that they apparently hate now. Uh, black I on had, black. I had my dog ate it, so I got a new that's one. That's right. That's right. And then Sebastian has the white on black. So shout out to Transient. Uh, we're representing you on the podcast, just like you have your Eschen Embers. Uh, did you see Eschen Embers? Like, I love how he represents or some, something along those lines. Representing or something like that. So anyway. I represent. That's right. All my he homies. does. If you want to send him a hat, he will put it on if it's good. He likes it. Yeah. Yeah. You might get a lot more listeners if you let me wear your hat. I mean, not Sam really. Summers First of all, don't don't believe that statement. No, don't believe that statement right there that you'll get more listeners. You'll probably get one. Might get that's one. Stacia, she'll probably listen. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. All right, maybe. but Romstein, Romstein is getting sued by a synthwave French duo band called Ninja Cyborg. Here's what's funny about it is, I don't know why I say it's funny. It's not really funny. It's just <laughs> the way it is, right? Right. But when, when, because Romstein has 12 million monthly listeners on Spotify, you know how I like my Spotify numbers, right? Yeah, I know. So, really Cyborg, Ninja Cyborg has 12,000 
listeners only, right? So bit, millions of way more listeners on Rammstein. So Rammstein's also going to get a lot more play. But some right. people did hear the Ninja Cyborg and were telling them that they plagiarized Rammstein. Now, Ninja Cyborg came up with a song in 2018. Mm-hmm. And their song's called uh, The Sunny Road. Rammstein came out with Dutchland in 2019. So a year mm-hmm. later. Right. And everyone's claiming that uh, that Ninja Cyborg plagiarized Rammstein. Is that Rammstein or Rammstein? I don't know. I'm not German. Rammstein. The Duhastmisch guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Duhast. Anyways, so now I listen to this. I, I, have you had a chance to listen to both the songs? No, I have not. Okay, now no. you can't tell. Now keep in mind, Ninja, why would Rammstein steal Ninja Cyborg's I mean, how would they even know who they were? Ninja Cyborg doesn't even like them. They came out of a quote saying they don't like them. Now, play the song, and then there's a little, there's like a one-second pause in there, and we'll pause it before uh, the Rammstein song comes out. So here's just a 20 second, 25 seconds of, of Ninja Cyborg and their song, The Sunny Road. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. I did, I did. Okay, so now. Okay, which to me sounds like just familiar chords that you're going to hit on a synth or any kind of keyboards. Now keep in mind, before we play this next song, this this court case got dropped. and A judge dropped this case in 2021. They went back and what do you call it? They... Appealed. They they didn't appeal, so now it's back in court. Okay, now listen to Ron. Tell me it's okay. Just listen to it. That's it. Tell me that's not the same exact though. Reminds me like Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. That's exactly it. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Now, here's the thing: it's already been established in court that there's already so many chords in music, right? And that that all right, we're we're very uh, we're we love patterns in our head. That's what makes a song song very popular to us is is a familiar pattern and if it's even more like something to the old school day that doesn't necessarily make it plagiarism now i would tell i would say this to to ramstein it is very close and similar to uh what was the band called again uh ninja cyborg ninja cyborg maybe give them credit but I don't think it's actually plagiarism. Okay, so all they want, all they want is credit saying that they wrote it first. And, and I mean, within a one year difference, Romstein's probably thinking, ah, they only got, you know, so many listeners. I'm sure their listenership has gone up since this lawsuit. Okay. But they, I mean, who would who knows how they where they heard it from? But I would say that they took it's it from cool. them, dude. I, I mean, would say they took it. The Romstein does it better. Well, Rammstein does it with a guitar versus a keys, but they're both stringed instruments, supposedly, even though there's synth and then there's synth, which is not string, but versus piano, piano string versus guitar. So, okay, remember when uh, there was a Green Day took Papa Roach to court? No, I didn't. uh, Yeah, because the Donna, 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 Donna. My eyes feel like they're gonna bleed. Right. Well, last resort goes. Yeah, but that's not saying there's chords in between it. They lost. They lost because Pop Roach only does it on like I think their bass, or something like that. And then Green Day did it with like guitars. 
there was some sort of difference where I don't think they wind up winning that lawsuit, but that was when mm -hmm. Pop Roach first came out. So I wonder, I and mean, that's what I heard, and I don't, I doubt that's a lie because it does, it's the exact same chords. And, and and again, folks, reminder, we don't do our research 100%. So if you're getting our news from us, <laughs> good luck you, know, you. you know, we have, we don't have to keep on disclaiming because we disclaim in the beginning that says we are that's idiots. Right. It says that's we right. Are idiots we're idiots and we don't 100%. know what we're talking about in the world mm -hmm. of Snoop Dogg. Uh, but I, I would say in this situation, yes, they're very similar. They're almost identical. They're exactly identical. But. Well, I mean, they're exactly identical, but played by two different instruments. Um, I would, I would, as for Ramstein, I would give them credit. And uh, it doesn't mean much, by the way. Does it? You don't got to pay him for it, right? You don't got to pay him for it. Well, no, but no not much. For a if you admit that you stole if you, it, you kind of have to give them some sort yeah, of. Yeah, because you'll have to say that you sampled their, their song. So, yeah. No. I think he should. I, mean, I think they did sample it. Let people yep. decide. What do you think? Was it stolen from from Ramstein, or was it uh, uh, just happened to sound the exact, exact one hundred percent, the exact, exact, exact same? And if you're watching us on YouTube, comment down below. What do you think? Uh, and if you're listening to us to an audio version, uh, come over to our page and say, you know, Ramstein stole stole that song, or no, it didn't happen. Let us know. We want to know. Monstown was like, like they're kind of small. That's Suck right. My dick. Suck my yeah. dick. <laughs> Suck my dick. So that's it. Pretty much it. Yep. <laughs> All right. What's, what's the next song we have coming up here? Head uh, PE. Is this a new Head right. PE? Is this a new Head PE song? So no, it's a oh. new video, old oh. song. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah, and I don't have my thing keyed up, so I don't remember the name of the song. Here and now. Here and now, that's right. So it's I'm a new video, there. guys. But it, uh, we have Drowning Pool on later on, so we want to make sure that uh, they're with the uh, uh, with familiar friends. So right here on the last spot, the new video for Here and Now by Head PE. Here and now. We are face to face, caught in this time and place, but we are not afraid. Fear me now, these are the days of days, in the right time, the right place, and we're not afraid. Fear me! Yeah, can anybody hear this? You are not the gun with the secrets! Wait the fuck up! We won't stop! We won't stop. Stand up and then everybody drop! We're not going away, now we got the power, we got time to say why Don't ever too late, this is our time, this is our day Here and now, we are face to face Caught in this time and place, but we are not afraid Fear me now, these are the days of days In the right time, the right place, and we're not afraid We are not afraid. Don't fear me. Fear me now. These 
The Florida Joker is back at it again. First, he was suing the GTA franchise, and now he doesn't care about the GTA franchise. He's on to the movie The Crow and The Crow's franchise. Here's the deal, guys. I literally think it's his stupid fault for getting his right. face tattooed that way. I mean, yep. you, people are going to, they may unintentionally use an image that looks similar to you. That doesn't mean that they copied it from you. Everyone knows you're so happy, but they also know you probably doesn't have money for a lawyer. So maybe, nope. but, but at the same time, why are they all ripping off this one guy who's not even that famous? I don't buy right. it, dude. I don't buy it. Now there is all similarities, right. but. Uh, all right. We'll let you guys decide. So here, here's the Florida Joker uh, in his uh, new attempt at uh, suing the crow, the movie, the crow. Crow's your boy, the Florida Joker, GTA 6, GTA, we don't got to talk. Crow, the movie Crow, we got to talk. I'm getting DMs at the DMs. Talking about all right, first of all, you know he's not getting DMs after he's got no, one no, DM. No, I bet, no, I bet he's getting, no. Okay, maybe it was just one DM. You're right. It probably one was, was one, one, one. one DM. He tries to make himself from, sound more popular than he is. From his ex-girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> His or mom, his crack his, mom, his mom's like, let's go back to court and sue these other people now. It's his mom. Yep. It's not even his next girlfriend. It's his mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're brave. Like, Y'all stole my likeness for your upcoming movie. I want to be compensated. I'm tired of y'all people taking my likeness for y'all movies and stuff, bro. What's going on here, man? What's going on here? Crow, 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 movie, the crow. We got to talk. We got to talk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You tell me that that's not me? You're telling me that's not me. I will wait. Pa, go now, back. You look, can you rewind it a little bit? Can you rewind it just a little bit? I can't yeah. do it for some reason. I don't see it on my screen here. The right to where it shows his face. I, I know. I'm trying to get it right there. All right. There's oh, his yeah. face. That's okay. his face. There and you go. Right there. Okay. There's you can that kind of, face. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. All, all right. there is, all it is, is, is black makeup around the eyes. That's it. What? That's else? Sebastian on any Saturday night with his mascara. I there mean, you, you, don't, I'm, uh, hey, you can't, you, you can't. Know what? Me and the Florida Joker, we need to talk. <laughs> That's because right. I've been That's wearing right. eyeliner since 2001, at One. least. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say 2000, 2001. <laughs> so we got to talk, Florida That's Joker. Right. You know what? I'm going to sue him. I'm taking him to court for taking the likeness of me and um, getting it tattooed on his face. You're telling me that's not me. Yes, we're telling you that's not you, Florida not Joker. So, I will wait. I will wait. Crow, the movie, the Crow, the company, the Crow, whoever's making the movie, the fucking Crow, we got to talk. We got to talk. You took my likeness again. Yo, yo. We building a case against the Crow, bro. You, yo, Crow, Crow, we got to talk, Crow. Do you, th you think he sits around and looks for people to try to sue? I think so. Like, oh, is that just his gimmick to grow his fan base? It, it might be his brand. It might be his gimmick since GTA. And why does GTA, why does he say, we don't got to talk? Did they already settle on something? Or... No. Remember, they told him, no, <laughs> you're, we're not going to court. And it's not going to happen. He's got thrown out, thrown out of court. Yeah, I think, actually, he might have dropped it because they realized it wasn't going to go anywhere. But look, this guy is has tattoos all over his face. This guy has this guy has dark under circles of some kind underneath his eyes. So yeah, anything that on his cheekbones, yeah. I think some of that. So anything re remotely close, he's going to try to try to get someone to bite on that whole thing. But you and I both know it's not it's not him. It's not his likeness. It's just someone tattooed with his face. You could say the same thing in the DC comic universe from uh what what is that the Suicide Squad yeah. with the guy 
the inferno or something like that that yeah, yeah, lights up yeah. thing. Does that mean they were trying to take his likeness? No, absolutely not. So you weirdo, knock it off and and go get a regular damn job. Yeah, he, he has no. He, he can, can he get a job? Can he? he, he he's like, was he going to be a greeter at Walmart? Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like or, McDonald's or the next, will hire him. Look, look, and and we all know there's a lot of famous people out there like Jelly Roll, um, all these kind of people's face tattoos, but just. Just get into music, would you? You know, Just, what? He, you know, I'll tell you what. He's not a bad like speaker. Like he's no, kind of yeah. entertaining to listen to. Well, you no, know, he should. He's missing somebody, some teeth. He should get somebody to write jokes for him. Do a comedy tour called the We Need to Talk Tour. And that's right. He'll make money, dude. That's gonna go. Hey, if he, if he does that, it's my idea. I said it first. That's right. We're taking him to court. We need to talk. I got the money. To take him to court too. <laughs> No, you don't. You don't spend no money in advertising. Come on now. <laughs> but we do have billboards out in uh, Las Vegas and in New York. So if you guys see that, make sure you guys take a picture of that for us. We appreciate it. Um, okay. And then, yeah. And and but make sure you like. I don't know what she was talking about. She whispered something to me and then walked away. Oh, say she did? Yeah, I don't know what she was talking about. Yeah, I'm still on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still on the podcast right now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, I just little have a sign that says on air. I I actually have one. It's it's, oh, it's it lit up right now. You have no. one? Yes. Let me have it. Did, no. You can't yeah, have that or, or a microphone stand. What's wrong with you? I want your microphone stand and I want your on air light. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's what All right, let's take a look at the uh, next song that music break. Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their new singer leaked, leaked, leaked that it might be a female. Um, and if you guys remember, Mike Shinoda already had a new song with a female person. I don't know if that's her. We don't know who this female is. So if it even is, we're not sure there's speculation. That, that's right. We we don't know. But if um, Lincoln Park comes back with the female singer with like even a single, you know how big that's gonna go in the charts. Like their first song, they're still relevant enough, I think, especially since Chester Bennington is no longer with us. I think that if they come out with a new song, it's gonna be it, it'd be it'd be like if Nirvana came back with all the original members besides Kurt Cobain and, and then what, what, new, but still called it uh Nirvana. But you still have the, you know, what's the name, Dave Grohl in it and the other guys. Right. I think that would be just as big. Okay, so my only stipulation to any of it, it's got to be good. I think that's the only reason what would make it good. It's not about what's between the legs. I think it's about how the song is, how it's structured. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just that a wiener or vagina. I don't care if it, there's a wiener vagina or there's nothing there. It's it's just got to be good because if it sucks, I don't care who sung it. If it sucks and it's a female, they're gonna blame it on the female. That's the problem I have. What's the Kardashian? Uh, what's what's the Bruce Jenner's? Uh, Caitlyn Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner? <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner was like the new singer of Lincoln Park, or like Nirvana yeah. comes back with Caitlyn Jenner. I'm just telling you. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it it matters who the sex is that's singing the screams or anything. I think it just has to be good or not good. Know, why, 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 why did you say that to begin with? Well, because I don't think it matters what's between the legs. It really doesn't at the end of the day. It's just got to be good or not good. And, and I think that I don't think a female is going to make it any better necessarily or any worse. It's going to, it, it's whatever Mike and Linkin Park decide the song is. And it's, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, then I'm sure we'll hear more if it's not good. I still I, feel I, like I, it's somehow sexist to say. Even though, even though you no, it, in your good. mind it is yeah. because you're sexist. So. I, 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 I think Linkin Park, I think Linkin Park with the female singer, as long as Mike Shinoda is still in it. I think it's going to be good. I think it'd actually be, I think it's, I, I it's hope good, it it's going to be great. I think I, I hope it is. Cause I'm, I'm very, I'm one of the ones that really, I look for female singers that just kill it 
at, at the end of the day, and I'm a sucker for it. I always give them a shot versus a male singer. Um, I would say I give more female singers a shot because I want to see more female singers out there just killing it, whether it's screams or whether it's clean lyrics. Now, we know that because Chester was screams, we hope that this person, this individual female, if that's who it's leaked, is going to be screaming. So I hope it's someone like, like, you know, Otep or, or, or anyone like that, like that, that just has maybe even Lizzie Hale, even though she doesn't have a scream, she has a very dark, deep voice or maybe even Dorothy or something like that. Or was that just Chester doing the screaming? It was Chester doing the screaming. So then we need a screamer to still keep it Lincoln Park. Even if it's a girl, even if it's female, still needs to be a screaming female just to get that Lincoln Park vibe still with everything. Like, right. Cause I don't think now. I don't think Mike can do it. I don't know if that's for sure. I don't think Mike is the screamer. He's a he's a clean vocalist, and he's the one that arranges a lot of stuff as well as the rest of Lincoln Park. So again, look, that's nothing sexist. Sebastian sexist in his brain, but to me, I'm just saying it doesn't matter as as if it's good. If it's good, it's good. Doesn't matter who it is. But if it's bad and it's a female, they're going to blame the female. So yeah. I'm just saying. Yep. All right, let's get into our last song before we are joined by Drowning Pool. Um, this song is by If Not For Me, and this song is called Tragedy, right here on the Loud Spot. We were born into tragedy. We pray among the shadows. Grinding our bones to feed It's on by paper statues Telling us what we should be Build us up, break us down But you can't drown us out Burn it all to the ground We are martyrs of misery We did it next to bed Living close of the dying dread We're joined by Ryan McCombs from the band Drowning Pool. 
He's out on tour currently right now with the, with his band Drowning Pool. But a lot of people may not know you just got off the Soil Tour, yeah. where you're where you're a front man for that as well. Yeah, so, so I get, it was about uh, about this time last year that I got the bright idea. I, well, I got the offer to rejoin right. up with Drowning Pool, and uh, and I thought, man, yeah, that's a, that it'd be super intelligent to sing for both bands. Right, and then, right. Yeah. So I'm still working out the kinks on the do's and don'ts as far as scheduling right. goes, but it, it's coming along. Hey, you can just say, I got double the money. That's what I'm getting paid, double the money. I, I wish that was the case. Yeah, exactly. So you guys are currently out with saliva right now on the yeah. Latour 24 or something like yeah, that, right? Snafu, Snafu yeah, the Snafu Tour. La, snafu Latour. Dude, th that's all my fault, too. I can't even blame anybody for it. Somebody you made that name me. up, huh? Yeah, somebody came to me and was like, "What? What do you? Do you have any ideas for the name of the tour?" And I was like, "With everything, they had just recently lost Wayne, and uh, right, and of course we know the history of Drowning Pool. I mean, right, and both bands have been through so so many situations that most bands wouldn't have survived. So I thought the uh, situation normal, all fucked up, snafu, right, right." would be very fitting for this uh for this combination of bands and uh the first leg of it we had Adelita's way and any given sin with us right. the second leg that we're on now any given sin is out with us and then uh the third leg which is coming up uh not too far uh -huh. away i think it's next month i think it starts yeah. up is uh above snakes is with uh saliva and ourselves so yeah. Yeah. So you guys are are, are keeping busy. Uh, you you know you just recently rejoined with uh, with Drowning Pool in 2023. Is that correct? Yeah, it was about a year ago. Th this time a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're like, okay, I'm going to do both projects continuously because hey, why not? Yeah. Um, and then and then you it, clearly, I don't like sleeping in my own bed. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm thinking. I don't think you like sleep. I don't think you no, you care no. about uh, uh, about. Uh, living in a nice house or anything you no, just want to no, live no. out of a suitcase i I, yeah. just, I like i like to uh I, I would say you know i just i enjoy paying the bills so that right. my wife so my wife and my family enjoy the house but right uh, she makes more money than i could ever think so i mean <laughs> exactly. she, she's a successful businesswoman herself so she doesn't need me at all yeah she doesn't <laughs> matter of fact she's probably right. she, she's probably watching the kids going hey dad's not coming home uh this right. time we're gonna have to send him out one more tour one more tour right, right, and right. Then, so you well, guys uh in 2023 you rejoined the band is there talks of new music coming out is there talks oh, yeah. of we, uh, releasing I, I flew into the states because i live in england i've lived there for right. the last six years and um i flew into the states got in here february 27th somewhere around there Mm -hmm. uh, immediately started the soil tour with soil union underground blah, blah blah right the day after that tour was over i jumped on an airplane to head down south to texas and met up with the drowning pool guys and uh, stevie mike and cj and uh we jumped right into this immediately jumped right into the studio and we've started pre-production and actually recording of some new tracks that we've been writing because since since we got back together, it's just lit a right. fire. It's lit a fire underneath all of us. We're just enjoying it, and we're just—it's fun, man. I mean, this this is the same group of guys that wrote the self-titled Drowning Pool album and Full Circle right. album, and we had a lot of success with a lot of the songs on those albums. So the industry is excited about it. We're excited about it, and we're seeing it with the the show offers and the 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 tour offers and stuff that have come about since we've gotten back together, and we're just enjoying it. We're just enjoying each other's company again, you know. Absolutely, well, that's the heart grew farm. That that's exactly it, and we're seeing a lot of resurgence of the older bands coming back. We got you know punk bands like Mest coming back. You know, we right. have uh, we uh, we have all the rock bands that actually been there. What a lot of people don't realize out there in, in music land is that these bands have been there. They oh, might yeah. have yeah. focused yeah. their their attention somewhere else, guys, but they have always been there and they will continue to be there as long as you support them. So you guys got to go catch a show. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. It's that that's simple. Key. That's key. Right there. Once you guys stop stop supporting them on the road, then you know they th these uh, these albums cost money, and these uh, engineers and and producers cost a, a lot of money. So <laughs> you know, I've I've in my career, and because of the people out there giving me the time of day, I've I've had right. Uh, I've been able to do it for a long time, and um, that's one thing I've said at the end of every show that I've ever done from day one, which is the music starts with them, the music ends with them, they make right. it all happen. I mean, the, exactly. the, the, the people out there that give us the time of day 
that to support the music, that buy the shirt, that, that buys the ticket, that right. we can't, no band ever. I don't care whether it was Led Zeppelin or whether it was the Beatles or, or whether it was fucking Guns N' Roses, Metallica, right. Drowning Pool, Saliva. None of us can do any of it. None of us could have ever done any of it without the people giving us the time of day. So you're, you're spot on. Absolutely. Right. So guys, check the check out Ryan and uh, his little little band, uh, Drowning Pool. No one knows about these guys <laughs> little, here. That in the little bodies States. band, yeah, that little, body little, band. little bodies band. But check these guys out on tour with Saliva and also In a Given Sin and also Above Snakes. Uh, you guys are playing currently in the month of April, May, and I think there's a there's some June dates. Is there June? Dude, we we have so much stuff lined up for 2024 um, with all the fe- the Danny Wimmer Fest okay. coming up with like yep. Louder Than Life and Sonic Temple and Welcome to Rockville and Aftershock and <laughs> it's it's a good still, year. It's a good year. Do you guys still, still get playful. excited playing the big festivals? Uh, you know, you doing the 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 small the uh, the venue tours, but playing the big festivals where you get to see probably friends you haven't seen in a long that's, time that's it right and, there, the, and the backstage uh, banter sometimes that happens and the joking that goes on do you, you still get excited about those look forward to them yeah because i i don't i i've never liked playing outside i don't like playing outside <laughs> oh, um, no, it's really. just it's different my throat is just a different yeah. animal outside than it is in, indoors so i've never enjoyed the the job of right. the job aspect of it you, I love the you know you, I love the intimate settings. I love the big crowds. I love I, they've all got something. There's there's a there's an aspect of each that is really cool. Whether it's you're in a small dank ass club and you got right. that personal face to face, you're sweating on each other type shit, right? Or whether you're in a, a big setting like a big outdoor shed or amphitheater or or a big arena, you know it, it's they've all got an aspect to them that's really cool. So I you, I do look forward to. The fact that we get to connect with a lot of people and then we get to have fun with, a, you know, with a lot of people we just share right. that moment together. Um, but that is the coolest thing, um, especially Excellent. this this far into it. You know, we, we've been allowed to do this now for 20 plus years and to, we've got so many friends, not just in the bands, but the crew guys that we, we right. worked, we've right. worked beside over the years. A and lot of people just, don't realize that that bands, once you find that crew member that does a good job doesn't ask for too much money or millions of dollars to, to go out, you'll become a crew member for that band, potentially life, if, you, if right. you're a good person. If you're a shitty person, you're probably going to have a very short-lived uh, No, we'll send you career. home with a Greyhound real quick. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, Greyhound's even nice. I would have sent them home on, you better use that finger. <laughs> right, right, right. use that hiking finger. Well, uh, no, but it is. That's, that's the cool thing about those big, big shows like that is, like backstage is just kind of like a big reunion. It's like a big family right. reunion. You're just catch it up here. How the kids doing and just catching up right. and, and all that goofy shit. All right, we're gonna start one controversy, Ryan. Which oh, great, has great. which has better outdoor music uh, festivals? The Don't UK. The Don't UK. No. Well, no, I want no. you to go home to a whole bunch of hate. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> the UK or the US? Which one has better ones? I, I wouldn't be going home to a bunch of hate. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and there's two there's two different vibes. We can all agree. There's there two different is. vibes. There absolutely the UK, is. The UK fan base over there can can come together and get a lot crazy versus the United States fan base that tends to be a little bit different. And well, they'll complain about the lineup first. That's the first thing right. they usually do. And the and the UK looks at the lineup of the festivals over here and are like, why isn't that over here? You yeah, know, exactly. exactly. It, I'll tell you what the biggest difference is between the UK crowd. And a U.S. crowd, or or I should say U.K. When I say U.K., I really mean uh, most of, of Europe as most, well. Yeah, and uh, it's a way of life, right. and that, it seems weird because I know I know there's a big fan base over here that's the nope. same way, that is exactly right. the same way. But over there, your neighbor who who works at the you know who is works for the government, or your neighbor over right. here is a school teacher. It doesn't matter what they do in their walk of life. Right. It, the dumbest question you can ask somebody over there is, "Hey, you going to download this year?" Because right. everybody's going to download. Yeah, like you know, everyone it's, is. It's, right? Yeah, it's just a, it's a way of life over there. So it's just a. Different... I think you get it with your citizenship. It it usually right. goes. <laughs> it, it, it usually you're given no. the passport and then you're out. Obviously, it says here's a free ticket to download. You have to pay right. for your spouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at all. 
Yeah. So Ryan, we appreciate you stopping by the loud spot, guys. Again, check him. Drowning pool, saliva above uh, above snakes. Any given sin out currently out on the road. Catch one of their shows uh, before before they're sold out, and then he's got to go back to the UK, and then we never see him again. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, thank thank you so much for uh, for keeping keeping the people that, that make it all happen in touch with us by doing stuff like this and and giving us well, the time of day, it, man. man. I appreciate it. We look forward to the new music. Uh, uh, and I forgot how I was going to end this, but we'll we'll talk to some other time when that new music comes out. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. This is the Loud Spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has to pin show so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.